Hello, you're watching FTM and I'm your host Suraj. In today's episode, we are going to tell you about DigiLocker. Union Government Digital India Initiative, DigiLocker, came as a yet another surprise. DigiLocker is a digital locker service operated by the government of that uh, state or center that enables Indian citizens to store official and other important documents on the cloud. The service was launched in February 2015 by the Department of Electronics and Information Technology under the Ministry of Communication and IT. To eliminate the use of physical documents and work towards paperless governance, DG Locker was created as a platform to provide a secure personal online storage space to save your documents and for issuance and verification of documents in a digital way. Indian citizens who sign up for the DigiLocker account get a dedicated cloud storage space of 1GB which is linked to their Aadhaar. The service is open for Aadhaar card holders only. The online space can be used to store official documents like mark sheets, pen cards, passports, certificates, voter ID cards, property papers, those related to investment like mutual funds, shares, insurance, medical reports, tax papers, birth or marriage certificates, etc. Citizens can upload the scanned copies of these legacy documents in their accounts. To self-attest the documents, e-signed facility is available using which can be digitally signed documents. The service aims to reduce the use of physical documents, minimize the administrative expense. Initially, the service was with a storage space of 10 MP which was later increased to 1 GB. Ever since its launch, the number of DigiLocker users is going day by day. Recently extended to allow students of ICSC board to store their class 10 and 12 certificates in DigiLocker and share them with agencies as required. As part of the net banking applications, Kotak Mahindra Bank has also started providing access to documents in DigiLocker, allowing users to e-sign them and forward as needed. Many hospitals are also considering launching this service for patients so that medical documents and test reports can be easily stored and shared as required. Let's talk about structure of DigiLocker. Each user of DigiLocker has the following sections. My certificate. The section has two subsections. Digital documents. This contains the URI that is uniform resource identifier of the documents issued to the user by government departments or other agencies. Second, uploaded documents. It has a list of all documents which are uploaded by the user. Maximum size of uploaded documents should not exceed 10 MB. Only PDF, JPG, JPEG, PNG, DMP and GIF files types can be uploaded. My profile. This section displays the computer profile of the users as available in the UIDAI database. My issuer. This section displays the name of the issuer and the number of documents issued to the user by the issuer. My requester. This section displays the name of the requester and the number of documents requested from the users by the requester. Directories. This section displays the complete list of registered issuers and requesters along with the URLs. DG Locker system is based on high-end technology to ensure safety of the documents of its users. Repository. Collection of e-documents that is exposed via standard APIs for secure real-time access. Access Gateway. It's a secure online mechanism for requesters to access e-documents from various repositories in real-time using URIs. Digital Locker Portal It is dedicated cloud-based personal storage space linked to each resident's Aadhaar for storing e-documents or URIs of e-documents. Some of the security measures used in the system are 256-bit SSL encryption, mobile authentication, based sign-up, ISO 27001 certified data center, data redundancy, time logout, and security audit to ensure that your data is safe and secure in the cloud. The three stakeholders in the DigiLocker systems are citizens, issuers, and requesters. 
citizens an individual who uses the digi locker service based on aadhar number citizens can store or access their documents using the digi locker they can store issue the scan and upload document on the digi locker issuer various government agencies are registered with digi locker as issuer which issues e documents to the individuals in a standard format and making them electronically available example cbsc registrar office income tax department etc requester in terms of digi locker a requester is an entity organization requesting for secure access to a particular e document stored within a repository digi locker proves to be a competent component of the digital india initiative it serves various benefits to its stakeholders and to the country on a whole digital documents can be accessed by the citizens anytime anywhere this is convenient and time saving it considerably reduces the administrative overhead of government departments and agencies minimizing the use of paper it offers authenticity of e documents as they are used directly by the registered issuers it also minimizes the risk of fake documents actually digi locker is not a cloud storage platform rather it is envisioned as a highway for documents exchange With more people accessing this system it is expected to be used by a wider public base that's all in fpm keep watching us please like and subscribe our channel press the bell icon for more informative videos